audience yet? Uh, screening audience. I so saw it's, some agents were in there. Yeah, so like, ha, ha, ha. same here. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you right now, uh, the the I've seen, I've seen it twice now. And like the first time I saw, the second time I saw it, like last night was a full crowd, and you can't hear some of the jokes because like it's so funny that like everyone was just laughing throughout half the jokes of the film, and you're in the, one of the best scenes in my opinion when you and you and Rob. And I don't want to bring anything up, particularly what happens, but he yells out. <laughs> A particular actor's name, Shia LaBeouf. Uh -huh. yeah, that is I, I think that might be one of the funniest things. I, I wanted to ask you guys how much the film was actually improvised. There's a lot. Was a lot of that in the script, or was that, were y'all improvising throughout the film? Colette. <laughs> Colette. I like that. Um, uh, there's a lot of improv. I'm not. I mean, I, I think all the guys, Rob especially, right. and Clark, they're all great at improv. So yeah, there was a lot of improv, and there was a lot of last minute changes too. Right. So I don't remember how much was last minute changes and how much was improv. You probably had the most '80s outfit in the entire movie, uh -huh. <laughs> especially when, when we first meet you. Talk about was that like a huge like makeup thing? Like were you, were you in the chair for a while getting your hair to look like that? It was like, yes. I had the Catherine Gordon did my hair, and she you know really it was a hair show for her. <laughs> like, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She really worked to perfect that right. helmet and bangs. Now. Um, you talk about you, know, you have a love interest in the movie with uh, with John Cusack, mm -hmm. uh, Cusack, and you actually are touring with with Poison at the time. Yes. Um, I mean, uh, the Poison scene actually looked really realistic. Who were those guys? God, I don't. They're a cover band, <laughs> a Poison cover band based out of Vancouver, right. but I don't know their name. Do you know their name? No, but that's no. what they do. That's right. like their. Like every day, I yeah. think they do that. So. Do you guys remember anything specifically? I mean, I, 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 a particular '80s memory you guys particularly love the most? I, mean, I know it's a hacky question, but I, since the whole movie takes place in the '80s, gotta ask that. Christian Slater. Christian Slater. Yeah, just Christian Slater. Really? Now, have you ever seen a movie he did called True Romance? Of course. That's my favorite, that's my favorite movie of all time. It's a great movie. It's a great flick. You're like the first person I've met who's seen that movie. Nobody has seen that film. Really? Made, like no money in the box office. That's so. Weird. That's no, like you haven't a... seen it. All right, you got you got to make sure you see it eventually. Okay, okay. It's on um, now, if you don't mind, uh, now the movie's coming out March twenty sixth, uh, and mm -hmm. it, it, it is one of the funniest movies I've seen in a long time. Uh, how, when you get a script called Hot Tub Time Machine, are you just going? There's no chance I'm doing a movie with this title, and then eventually you read it and you're like, oh, this is amazing, and it actually says everything about the film. I think quite the opposite. Really? When you yeah. hear a title like Hot Tub Time it's Machine. It's the greatest title ever. Yeah, well, what else are you going to do? Yeah. Are you going to say no? <laughs> well, I was talking to Rob, and Rob, Rob was saying that when he got the script, he was on set with Sam Rockwell, and he like showed him the script. He goes, hey, look at this script I just got. This is a joke. And then he opened it up. He's like, I have to do this movie. Um, you know, and it, it, the title does say everything about the film. Yeah. I mean, when you're reading the script, are you just completely attached to it immediately? Yeah, I just think it's funny Rob Corddry dropped Sam Rockwell's name like that. Hey, <laughs> well, he was doing some like indie film with Sam Rockwell. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. just some indie movie. He's a real artist. I know. And hey, hey. In Hot Tub Time Machine. <laughs> um, yeah, the script went through many, many, many writers and many changes. Right. So what we read at first was really funny, and then it just continued to get weirder and funnier. And then when we would get on set, a lot of that would be thrown out the window anyway, and people would just say whatever they wanted. Had you seen Sex Drive before this, the guys who wrote? Uh, yeah, no, I, I didn't see it. Did okay, see it? well, I mean, because uh, Clark Duke, obviously, one of the you know one of the stars of that movie, and you, you play his mom in the film. Was that a little bit awkward, playing his mom in the movie? Uh, no. No? no, not at all. He looks like <laughs> a gigantic totally... baby. Yeah, well, he, it felt totally natural to me. I don't know why. <laughs> and Chevy Chase just keeps calling him a girl the entire time. Yeah, it's yeah. so freaking funny. Um, if you don't mind, can I bring up True Blood just for a quick second? I do mind. Uh, no, I, I well, don't It's mind. one of the best shows ever. I mean, you had an amazing role in the show. Uh, talk about being involved in that. Was that just? Did you know it was going to be that big when you were working on it? Um... No, I don't think you ever know it. It wasn't on at all while we were shooting. Right. Uh, like it didn't air till after we finished that first season. And you know, HBO and Alan Ball, like he does pretty well. Oh, he's genius. There. Yeah. Yeah, but no, you never really know until you do it. I knew the scripts were good and the actors were amazing, and it's it just kind of Jason worked. Stackhouse, you, you yeah. and your relationship. I mean, that that guy. I mean, I, I'm I'm totally straight, but that guy is like the greatest looking dude I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know how that's so intimidating to work with someone like that. Seriously, his <laughs> body is like uh, it's. I think it's actually, really he, something. He has like 36 abs actually. Yeah, each, I don't know where. Abs, totally, yeah. his <laughs> muscles have <laughs> muscles, and that guy is a total genius because yeah. in real life he is a very soft spoken, really smart, shy Australian boy. He's also <laughs> Australian, that's what I heard. Yeah. Um, and now, how did you get your start um, in acting? Because I mean, obviously, you know, th this movie movie is so freaking funny but do you do you take anything from dramatic roles as well um well i started i did a movie called the foot fist way yeah of course with danny mcbride you were great yeah, in that movie i loved doing that film 
know? <laughs> that movie is so freaking underrated. I would, I, that thing should have made billions of dollars. I, oh, I, I love that movie so much, yeah. Yeah, no, I auditioned for that when I was living in North Carolina and I was mm. doing plays there and I had decided I wanted to be an actress. So that was my first role. Do you, and now, when it comes to this type of movie, do you guys, like, does your agent send you a script and you go, I'm going to go out and audition for this? Did you both audition for this role? This, okay. Yeah. And uh, so where did y'all actually film the movie? Uh, in Fernie, British Columbia, which is like an hour flight outside of Vancouver, and then Vancouver. Vancouver. Right. And uh, <clears throat> I do, um, if you don't mind bringing up Mean Girls, they completely dressed you down for that movie. And then I see you in, uh, I see you in True Blood. Um, was, that, was that a pretty interesting uh, role to work on as well? For sure. That was the most fun, the 20, I think I was 20 at the time, yeah. maybe 21 year old could have had. It yeah. was uh, like fake college. We were all out of town in a hotel that was like a dorm for all of us and it was really awesome. Anything happened on the Hot Tub Time Machine set that obviously didn't make into the movie that was like a classic story for y'all? Uh, anything that was particularly fun? And I heard like during the dailies you guys were just completely joking around off set, off camera the entire movie. Any particular funny story you can tell? The funny story question. I know, I know it's a happy question. <laughs> no, no, we're just unprepared for it. We were no, all okay. like, okay, what's a funny story? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I was, uh, well, I, yeah, I mean, we, we, I was talking to Rob and Craig just now, and they were telling me some pretty disgusting stuff, so I don't want to get into that. But, I mean, was there anything particularly funny that happened on set? Nothing? It was very somber on set. <laughs> yeah, we were was sad. No it was like laughing. The funeral. It was. Everybody <laughs> like in funeral. black. The funeral. Signs mm -hmm. everywhere, no laughing, please. <laughs> it was... Not fun, actually. Now, at when, all. when you're shooting a movie like this, I mean, are you shooting different takes of different scenes, like to, to get the same scenes in a trailer? You shoot an R-rated scene, you shoot scenes for like an airplane, or is it just you shooting out the, the hard R-rated movie immediately on set? Yeah, you shoot the the R-rated one, and then you get to do uh, audio looping and say like, "Dang, dab it." Yeah, and the ADR <laughs> stuff. Yeah. 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 So, what do you all have coming up next? If you don't mind me asking. I have a show that's going to come out May 27th on NBC called Hundred Questions." Okay. Mm -hmm. And yours? And my uh, little cable TV show, Party Down, is coming back for a second season Yay. in a month. Cool. And she's so good on it. Well, you guys are great in the movie. I, I'll say y'all are hilarious in the film. Everything was, the movie is perfect. I mean, I think it's one of the closest classic comedies I've seen in a long time. So thank you for joining me. I appreciate it.